It is interesting that there is some provocative corroboratory evidence. In the 3rd century BC, a Babylonian priest slash historian named Barossus wrote of a mythical creature named Oans, who according to Barossus, emerged from the sea to give divine wisdom to men. Scholars generally identify this mysterious fishman as an avatar of the Babylonian water god Ye, also known as Enki. The curious thing about Barossus' account is the name he used, Oans. Barossus wrote in Greek during the Hellenistic period. Oans is just a single letter removed from the Greek name Ioans, which happens to be used in the Greek New Testament for Jonah. As for the I being dropped from Ioans, Professor Trumbull writes, in the Assyrian inscriptions the J of foreign words becomes I, or disappears altogether, hence Jonas, as the Greek representative of Jonah, would appear in Assyrian either as Ioans or as Oans. Nineveh was an Assyrian city. What this essentially means is that Barossus wrote of a fishman named Jonah who emerged from the sea to give divine wisdom to man, a remarkable corroboration of the Hebrew account. Barossus claimed to have relied upon official Babylonian sources for his information. Nineveh was conquered by the Babylonians under King Nabopolassar in 612 BC, more than 300 years before Barossus. It is quite conceivable that record of Jonah's success in Nineveh was preserved in the writings available to Barossus. If so, it appears that Jonah was deified and mythologized over a period of three centuries, first by the Assyrians, who no doubt associated him with their fish god, Dagon, and then by the Babylonians, who appear to have hybridized him with their own water god, Ea. Jonah was not an imaginary figure invented to play the part of a disobedient prophet, swallowed by a fish. He was part of Israel's prophetic history. Jonah appears in the Chronicles of Israel as the prophet who predicted Jeroboam II's military successes against Syria. He was the one who restored the boundaries of Israel from Lebo Hamath to the Dead Sea, in accordance with the word of the Lord, the God of Israel, spoken through his servant Jonah, son of Amittai, the prophet from Gath-Hefer. He is said to be the son of Amittai from the town of Gath-Hefer in Lower Galilee. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Flavius Josephus reiterates these details in his Antiquities of the Jews. 